Now on Bounce, you know, we have a good time, uh, especially every Tuesday mm -hmm. when my mama's here. And that's right. It's time for our weekly segment of Ask Mama Mac with Mrs. Stella Mac. It's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, Thank you. They write, Mrs. Why are you always, why do you guys always I laugh when whoa, I say that? Be, well, because it says Ms. And you glide right over that every week and say Mrs. But I know it's the way Mama Little raised you. So it just <laughs> makes me smile. Yeah. That's it's all. a good thing. And I didn't write this. Producer Amanda did. Well, Mrs. is correct, though, right? Because you are yeah. married. I yes. Am. There you go. Yes. I okay. All right. I was just making, I was just making sure I wasn't doing anything yes. uh, disrespectful. It's all good. Okay. We're good. <laughs> we're good, Delano. Believe me, Let's talk good. about right. the first story. <laughs> An 11 year old fan of Argentine striker Sergio Aguero is in trouble for his haircut. Uh, Gary mm. Hill's teacher told him she had to send him home because of the two shaved lines uh, in his hair. Mm. They were inspired by Sergio. His dad drove to the United Kingdom school to speak with officials. They told him his son's haircut was unacceptable and that he needed to have it fixed. Officials also said, he, uh, they were not allowed. His shoes were not allowed because of the Velcro, Velcro straps. His dad took his son home and shaved his head. He says little Gary is now confused about whether or not he wants to go back to school. This issue isn't new, folks. Schools in America, uh, some of them anyway, have strict dress codes. So, Mama Mac, is it time for schools to retire or perhaps rethink some rules on attire? I would think so. It's, uh, sometimes you, especially with the kids nowadays, we get uh, them too wrapped up in rules, 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 and sometimes they don't know how to re really truly to relax mm -hmm. when they need to relax because they're so focused on the rules and am I doing it right. So I I don't see anything wrong with this because that's got a little... <laughs> You've got mm -hmm. a little faux hawk going on there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. I think it looks good. I mean, I mean I know, it's I, very neatly done. Mm -hmm. It's not all wacky and gelled it's, it's up. It's not like different colors. Spikes, right. You know, yeah. so I think it's it looks fine to me, I, and I think the school should rethink that. Yeah, oh, yeah and the Velcro shoes. Mm -hmm. what? What? I, didn't, your, I didn't get that either. You you don't want your cho ch children to tie their shoes? I mean, is there something against strings versus Velcro? I have, I have no idea. That, it's that, England. That, that That's across no the pond. I, they do things differently. I get dress code to a certain extent yeah. because, I, you know, I kind of grew up I've with dress code. I've never heard one extend to the hair. I, well, we couldn't, at Georgia Southern University, as football players, we could not have mustaches to any facial hair. Hmm. Uh, the bottom line. I mean, we used to. I, Is and that I used why to you have went a little grow in a little bit. That mustache uh, when you first got to me. BTV. My head coach, Eric Russell, was, yeah, because I was I, I was growing it out. Oh, I felt like I was being happy a rebel. as a lamb. Yeah, but okay. he used to always say, "Look, you need to." And then you lost the mustache in a bet with Paul Cameron. But yes, that's I another did. story. Yes, I did, and I like this look much better. You so. do? Yeah. It would, it would be kind of strange. Look, my, my, Mama Little likes that. does not like it. My mother is always. She She likes the hair. I mean, the mustache. Yes. She likes I like the mustache. a little something on the lip too, yeah. yeah. You know, just. Yeah. Yeah. But this is good but, but because the, I never saw you before. Yeah, but the point of all this is it's character building. Yeah, I mean, it's you. And 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 let me ask you this: right. Do you have a specific dress code uh, at the daycare that that you been a long time daycare provider? I mean, long as long as they're clothes, I'm fine. I'm about to say, yeah. Mama come to the front door <laughs> right. sometimes in her jammies. Uh oh, and are we do now? That's because we have pajama day sweets. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. that's right. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pajama day every day. All right, she she no. she, she okay. cleared that up right away. <laughs> hey, let's go. All right, in Arizona Christian School mm -hmm. rejected uh, the application of a kindergarten because of his dad's past. Jay Gardena is a former adult star and used to be uh, married to Jenna Jameson. But he gave up that life and married his second wife. Now, their five-year-old son passed the application process to get into the private school, but officials reversed their decision before the first day of class. They no longer wanted him as a student because of his father's past and current lines of business. Now, Scottsdale Christian Academy says Gardena uh, was involved in gambling, tobacco, and alcohol, which conflicts with their foundation. So, Mama Mac, is the school wrong to deny a child the opportunity of an education because of his father's past? That's super confusion. I mean, that all around, just total confusion. I, I, I don't get, you know, why are you going to punish a child for something that his father you know, yeah. Yeah, the, the child's not doing, you know. Part. Well, and to reverse your decision. Yeah. You let them allow, in, you know. Yeah, that's tacky. Yeah. Very tacky. You know, once you make it, you stick to it. And he, I don't see any harm, even if his father did do this. I mean, he's not 
pushing it onto his child to go out and do something like this, or this is what you should do, you know. Right. The directives are not there, so. That make any sense? It I, I, I make any pretty sense much don't agree with that me. either. Yeah. And, and plus the fact, you, somebody, I should, he should take him to court. Okay. Well, we always say a lot of people always take I mean, people to the court. Fight, you you're feel. fighting for your child. Okay. And for him to get a good ed education. All right. You know, supposedly in a good school with twisted mind. He should have his own right <laughs> to do that. Right, no, no. All right. All right, Mama Matt, we want to get your take on tonight's Sound Off Charlotte topic. Houston firefighters say a mother gave up her children because she and their father no longer wanted them. Mm. Firefighters took the children after the woman arrived to the station with suitcases for her boys ages two and nine months. She told them she could no longer care for them and left before firefighters could stop her. Police found the woman a short time later. The kids are with Child Protective Services right now. Now, Texas is based Baby Moses Law allows parents to legally turn over custody of their children within 60 days of their birth. They can drop them off at certain locations like police stations or fire departments and not be charged with abandonment. But the mother doesn't meet those requirements. So far, police haven't filed any charges and officials say they're planning a hearing to determine if uh, relatives can take the boys. So we want to know what you think, Mama Mac. Should this mom face charges uh, for giving up her children? Um, yeah, I think. You know, I could never see giving up my children because that's a lot to go through and then you give them up. But, you know, she didn't harm them. You know, that was my first reaction. I, you know, my mind went back to Susan Smith, mm -hmm. you know, and um, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm with the mother. If you can't, yes, give them up, you know, and, and let someone else provide good care for them because it's evident she's saying she's crying out I can't do this yeah. and we're saying oh you know she's you yeah, know yeah. uh, okay. I think she's doing a good thing by giving them up if she can no longer provide yeah. into a fire a station it's not like she left them in Walmart no. right yeah you know when, when she didn't have done done exactly yeah. people yeah. have absolutely done yeah. that before yeah. right so I you know big kudos for her as for far doing as doing right yeah, yes. doing that and 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 wanting someone else to give better care. For as them. a lot of people say, it's become one of my bigger lines. It's better than the alternative. Uh, yeah. Indeed, there you go. indeed. Yeah. Do okay. we have time to read any more comments yeah, or no? She said she we do. Okay. Yeah. So a couple more here. Uh, moved over to the WBTV page. Melissa Whitaker saying, "Well, at least she took them to the fire department and didn't try to drown them." Karen mm -hmm. Ledbetter saying, "Maybe instead of charging her, they should help her with counseling and an adoption placement plan if she feels that's in the best interest of the children." Uh, Tina saying, "I'd rather." her give them up to the fire department than abuse them or leave them with someone that would hurt them uh, and saying she turned them into a safe place she could have killed them and also mm. faced charges hope they will find a home that loves them uh, Brenda Collins saying I hope she's not charged this had to have been a hard decision but she cho chose to give these kids a better life I would much rather hear this news and not another story of a mother killing her children uh, so yeah there we go all right we thank you all for saying mm -hmm. great job mama Mac is always a uh, good insight Side, we appreciate you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Stay here. We have more WBTV News on Bounce right after the break.